Hello guys! For today's video, I will show you how to import customer and vendor names to QuickBooks using the copy and paste method from Excel. So just like what we did with our inventory parts in my last video. So I have here a very long list of customer names. So if I'm going to input this one by one to QuickBooks, it will really take much of my time. But since we can paste this to QuickBooks, then it will be very, very easy. I will go to the customer center in QuickBooks and then right click and choose add edit multiple customers. In this drop down arrow, we have the option for customers, vendors, service items, inventory parts, non inventory parts, and inventory assemblies. So for now, we're going to start with the customers. So what I've mentioned in importing inventory parts, we have to make sure that the columns in QuickBooks is exactly the same as the columns that we have in the Excel file. In our Excel file, we have the customer name, which has a maximum limit of 41 characters. We have the bill one and the bill two. These two columns will be the name and the address that will be printed in our invoices, sales receipts, estimates, or sales orders. We have the phone number and the email. So let's customize our QuickBooks columns. I will click this, customize columns. And I will take out the unnecessary columns from QuickBooks. Remove. I will retain the phone number. Retain the email. And retain the bill one and the bill two. I will move this up. And I will add the terms so that every time I will create an invoice, it will automatically give me the due date. Okay, there. So I'm ready to paste. I will copy from here until the email column. I have almost 6,400 customers. Copy and then paste. I will assign everyone to 30 days. I'll just copy down. All right, and I will click Save Changes. All right, so I have already entered the customer names, but there are 24 customer records that have errors. So let's check that. I will click OK, and let's go over the errors. The error states that the name is already in the customer list. So in our Excel file, there are duplicate names. So that's why the duplicate names are not accepted by QuickBooks. We'll just click close. We will not record the duplicate names. Have unsaved customers. Do you want to save them? No. Okay. So this is our long list of customer names. Okay. Next is we will import the vendor names. These are my vendors. The first column is for the vendor names. The second column is also the vendor names, but it is labeled as address one, while the address is address two. These are the name and the address that will appear in the PO or bills when printed. And then we have the telephone number and the vendor email. Okay, so let's customize our QuickBooks columns. I will go to vendors and then right click. Choose Add Edit Multiple Suppliers. Okay, so this time we will choose Vendors and then I will click Customize Columns. Okay, so I will remove the unnecessary columns. I will retain the phone number and the email. I will retain address 1 and address 2 and remove the other addresses. I will move this up and, oh, sorry. And I will add the terms. Okay. All right, so I'm ready to copy and paste. I will paste it in the third line. Okay, and then for the terms, I will make everyone net 30. 
copy down. In my vendor list, there are names that are already in the customer list. So we will expect an error for that. But what we can do is we will just edit or amend the letters of the vendor names. I will click Save Changes. Okay, so we have saved 797 vendor names and we have 118 vendor records that have errors. I will click OK. The error message states that the name is already in the customer list. So we have to change or to amend the name of the vendor. So I will put dash V. The list is very long and we'll just do a few vendors. I will click save. All right, and I will close this window and just disregard the other vendors. Click no. Okay, so this is my vendor list. And if you want to get reports for the vendor customer names, we can go to reports and then list. Customer phone list or the customer contact list. Okay, so here. We can just customize the report if you would like to see the other information of the customers. And then for the vendors, we go to list and then vendor phone list or the vendor contact list. All right. So this is the vendor phone list. And then this is the vendor contact list. All right there. So it's very easy. It will really save much of your time. So instead of entering the name of the vendors or customers one by one to QuickBooks, then just try to import them from Excel using the copy and paste method. For more QuickBooks tutorials, tips, and tricks, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.